Thanks for joining me for the 420 Minute. I'm Deneen Shoemaker. I want to talk today about something I've been dealing with lately. And I thought, well, if I'm dealing with it, maybe you guys are too. And that is the concept of letting go and maybe how God looks at letting go. I'm not sure that God always wants us to let go, but I do think that God recognizes when the other person or the situation isn't going to change. And I believe that God is a gentleman and um, doesn't push God's self on anyone. And so it's kind of got me thinking lately. I mean, for me, the thing that I'm needing to let go is my marriage. And I've been sitting here thinking, but I'm married. That's a commitment. Yes, I messed up. He's messed up. We're humans. Who doesn't mess up? But it's a marriage, it's a commitment, it's a covenant that we made with God. Why on earth would God ever tell me to let it go? And I think because of my faith, I simply couldn't get my head around that. Like, the two were simply too far apart. I guess what I've come to realize here within that just very long, is that God allows things in our lives to test us, to train us, and even to help us. Sometimes the most painful things can be the most eye-clearing and the most, um, with the most amount of help, believe it or not. I sat down praying hard just this week and what I felt in my soul is what I want to talk to you or end on. See, what I, what I really believe is that God is asking me to let go not because he thinks that I should just get out of a commitment or because God thinks that um, commitments aren't a big deal. No, I believe that God is asking me to let go because God is actually trying to preserve my heart. See, there's nothing that God can do to make my husband love me again to make my husband forgive me. There's nothing God can do. That's free will. My husband has the right to do what he wants. So do people in your life. I'm praying for him. There's no doubt about that. But I got to be honest with you, the thing that I'm praying the most for now is that I can have the grace to let go And that I can finally capture, feel, have the peace that has so far eluded me. How do I know that God's okay with letting go? Ecclesiastes 3 6 says this a time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. May we all have the wisdom to know what time it is. Hope this has been helpful. Grace and peace, my friends. Ah!